Welcome to Beat Source Tech. My name is Mo Jax and we just got a quick one for you today. Master Sounds have just announced the new Mark II versions of their two valve and four valve rotary mixers. I've got the very first four valve Mark II off the production line here in the lab, so we're going to take a first look. Let's be entirely clear, this is strictly a first look and not a review of any kind. The mixer literally arrived 24 hours before the announcement time, and so the footage you're seeing was shot immediately after taking it out of the box. Nonetheless, I thought it was worth showing to you, as I know there are a lot of Master Sounds fans and Rotary Mixer fans in general who watch this channel. The original incarnation of this mixer, the Radius 4V, was released in 2019 and was accompanied by a version with regular faders, the Linear 4V, as well as a two-channel option, the 2V. I guess the market has spoken because there is no suggestion from Master Sounds that there will be a linear version of this one. What we have now is called the Radius 4 Valve Mark II, and it's available in both black and the silver you see here, as is the 2 Valve Mark II in the same colour options. As with all the Master Sounds mixers, they're designed and built in the UK in conjunction with Union Audio, the company run by highly regarded audio engineer Andy Rigby Jones, who recently released their own extremely high end rotary, the Orbit 6. Check out my review of that one if you haven't seen it already. In terms of pricing, we're talking about just under £1,900 sterling for the two channel version and £2,700 for the four channel one. Those prices include VAT for UK buyers, which isn't added on for buyers elsewhere. Although, of course, you'll have to account for import duty and whatnot, depending on where you are. So that's a rather premium price point, but it's important to note that Master Sounds do still offer their regular radius mixes too at lower prices. The Valve Mark IIs are their flagship models and priced accordingly. And they're also only slightly more expensive than the outgoing first generation of Valve mixers, which is quite an achievement in these times. As with all of their mixers, the Valve Mark II is a fully analog design and built with sound quality as the top priority. The main clue as to why the valve is superior to the regular radius is in the name. It features matched dual triode valves, aka tubes, as part of the input buffer stage on each channel, offering a degree of natural analog compression. In my experience with the original 4V, this led to a very pleasing warmth being imparted on all incoming sources, both analog and digital. I'm expecting to get much the same results from the valves on the Mark II, so what's actually new here? Well, firstly, there's a new high-pass filter on each channel. The first generation had EQ, but was lacking the filter as found on the OG Radius, and I did miss that, to be honest. I love working with a high-pass filter instead of EQs during long blends, and it really suited me. This filter is a little different. Master Sounds are calling it a variable Q filter, which means that it's very low resonance through the first half of the stroke, ideal for blending, and then as you go past 12 o'clock, the Q factor changes and it becomes more of an effect. It's something you'll just have to hear really, so here's a quick demo. The company have also switched up the voicing on the EQ on each channel too, with a new profile, which I will dig into at a later stage. Another change is in the Phono preamps with a new revised spec for those. I haven't even plugged a turntable into the Mark II yet, so my thoughts on those will have to wait until the full review. And finally, and this makes me very happy indeed, the crossfader is now an inner fader. I know that rotary users who desire or need a crossfader are fairly limited in number, but for those who do use one, having one of this quality and performance is obviously preferable. So although the position of it off to the right hand side might not be ideal for hardcore turntablists, you can absolutely get busy on the cut with one of these. Otherwise, things on the Mark II are looking fairly similar to the Mark I. On the 4-valve, we have four main channels, all switchable between line and phono, and with the first two also being capable of being switched over to mic inputs. There are also trim controls and an AUX send and return loop, which can be pre or post fader. There's a master isolator in the traditional Master Sounds vertical layout, a separate booth output, and a comprehensive Q circuit with split Q. Metering is, as always on Master Sounds gear, excellent, with LED meters on each channel and the lovely analog VU meters on the master. Those angrily flash red if you drive the mixer too hard, which is always a cool feature. Fun fact for you, the red flashing pattern is actually spelling out you're a bad DJ in Morse code. And in terms of build, there's nothing new here. Hand-built, all-metal construction throughout, as you'd expect from this brand. 
So yes, there is a bunch of new stuff to look at and some familiar features to enjoy here on the new Valve. Definitely enough to justify the Mark II moniker, but nothing which will scare away those who were already interested in the old model. On first impressions, a very solid update indeed. So there you go, a first look at the new 4-valve Mark II from Master Sounds. I'm really excited to get to know this thing better, and get to know it better I will, because this is not one of those situations where they need it back straight away and I might get one at an unspecified later time. No, no, this unit is staying with me for a while, so I will have a chance to really get to the ins and outs of it and bring you my full thoughts in a proper review a bit later on in 2023. Look out for that one on the channel. On a related note, if you are into the Master Sound stuff and really high-end audio gear, you might remember I did a first look on the Master Sound's Clarity sound system a long time ago. Then it went out of my hands and it was a whole thing. It's a long story, but the good news is, for those who keep asking in various comment sections, that Master Sounds do now have one in stock that I'm going to be able to get my hands on for a good few weeks. So that's on its way to me. And again, I'll be bringing you a full review on the Clarity Sound System at some point later this year. Thank you for watching this episode of Beach Source Tech. I do hope you've enjoyed it or found it useful. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel and you turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you next time.